In this ELC video, you will learn about hedging language. It follows on from the ELC video on academic style. You will also learn more about indie work for this subject and the first assessment. Right, hedging language is a skill you need when writing academic essays for ELC subjects and in other subjects that you are taking at university. So, listen carefully. OK, so we have this statement. Hong Kong is cold in winter. Is this statement true? Is it always true? What would be a better way of writing it? How about Hong Kong is often cold in winter or Hong Kong is sometimes cold in winter. Or we could write some people believe that Hong Kong is cold in winter. The words in red are hedging language. They are very common in academic writing. The first two, often and sometimes, are adverbs. They help us modify our writing. When something is not 100% true, we can use these words so that someone cannot say, your statement is wrong. The final sentence using believe is a little different. By using some people believe, the statement is being transferred to a third party. It's not you who is stating this, but someone else. Again, this is quite common in academic writing. OK, so that is one way you can use hedging language in academic writing. Another way is to use citations, add referencing. This follows on from the point before, transferring to a third party. However, now you are saying who the third party is. Look at this example. According to the Hong Kong Observatory 2020, the average temperature in January is around 18 degrees centigrade. So, now we have a reliable organisation, the Hong Kong Observatory, providing evidence on the temperature. It's hard to disagree with that. OK, so adding citations will make your writing more academic and improve your academic style. Look at the student notes for more information on hedging and for adding citations. OK, a couple more slides to go. IndieWork. It's a requirement for this subject and others such as ELC 1012 and ELC 1013. Now, you only need a score of 50%. And you have two choices on how to complete IndieWork. There are online quizzes on Blackboard. Please check the deadlines for doing the IndieWork quizzes. There are different deadlines throughout the semester. Or you can attend face-to-face -face initiatives to get an IndieWork score. So you can attend SAP or WAP sessions, SIL workshops or join EES. You get 10% of the IndieWork score for each session attended. Book sessions online through the ELC website. And keep records of your bookings so that you can submit evidence on Blackboard. Finally, let's look at Assessment 1. Assessment 1 is your first draft of a problem-solution essay. Please check the information sheet for the due date. And you need to first choose your topic. Look under Assessment 1 on Blackboard for the different topics. You can also find possible questions for your topic on Blackboard. Please start thinking about Assessment 1. OK, that's it from me. Make sure that you enjoy your learning at PolyU.